Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. President Donald Trump, in a triumphant return to the Conservative Political Action Conference, pledges loyalty to conservatives who helped him win. He stands by his promise to repeal and replace Obamacare and today announces the wall with Mexico is coming ahead of schedule. Jason Calvi was there, takes us inside the ballroom. Jason. Lauren, the crowd of rowdy conservatives cheered on their commander in chief with shouts of USA. The whole speech today was like a highlight reel from his campaign. And when he brought up Hillary Clinton, some here even cried, lock her up. President Trump spoke of his first visit here six years ago. He says that was the moment that set him on the path to the White House. <laughs> Standing room only for the first president since Ronald Reagan to speak here in his first year in office. The forgotten men and women of America will be forgotten no longer. President Trump trashed fake news and anonymous sources hours after his own staff held a background briefing where they refused to let their names be used, which has been a common White House practice in previous administrations. But today, the president says he's making good on his campaign promises. One by one, we're checking off the promises we made to the people of the United States. One of the pledges to make America safe again. We are going to keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. He says that goal is possible with help from above. As long as we have faith in each other and trust in God, then there is no goal at all beyond our reach. Packing into this boisterous crowd are conservative Catholics. Matt Smith of Catholic Advocate was Catholic liaison in the George W. Bush White House. I think a lot of people of faith felt forgotten uh, and really let their voices be heard once again during this last election. They saw years of our religious liberties being trampled. They saw years of an erosion of the sanctity of marriage. President Trump first test drove his Make America Great Again slogan six years ago when he said here, our country will be great again. He then trademarked the catchphrase in 2012, soon after Mitt Romney lost to President Obama. Lauren? Jason, what kind of timetable did the president give for fulfilling promises? Anything concrete? Well, one thing he said, President Trump says very soon he'll be putting out a new executive order on immigration. He vows that the era of empty talk is over. He'll have the chance to lay out specifics Tuesday night when he speaks to a joint session of Congress. Jason, Jason Calvi reporting from CPAC. Thank you so much.